Elite Facts presents 10 Celebrities Who Had Crappy Jobs Before Becoming Famous So when you look at celebrities, you can't help but feel that they've got the world in the palm of their hands and they probably don't work hard enough to deserve such luxuries. However, what you probably don't realize is that they're people like you and me. Sometimes a lot of us lose sight of that and forget that at one point in their lives, they weren't celebrities. They were average Joes working mundane jobs, just like us. So remember, just because you're working a dead-end job doesn't mean you should stop working towards your dreams. These celebrities are living proof, and believe us, all of their jobs are either boring or mundane or just downright terrible. Here are 10 celebrities who had awful jobs before reaching stardom. 10. Brad Pitt, Limo Driver Starting off this list, we have one of the biggest A-listers in Hollywood, Brad Pitt. Before starring in such films as True Romance, Interview with a Vampire, and Cool World, just to name a few films from his early career, the famed Missouri native struggled to make ends meet when he first came to Los Angeles. So like pretty much every celebrity who's trying to catch their big break, he took a job. The job he took was that of a limo driver for bachelor parties. According to Pitt, quote, my job was to drive them to bachelor parties and things. About the strippers, Brad Pitt said, quote, I'd pick them up and at the gig I'd collect the money, play the bad Prince tapes and catch the girls' clothes. It was not a wholesome atmosphere and it got very depressing. As bad as it sounds though, he does have his limo gig to thank for his status today. As Pitt said, one of the girls introduced him to the acting teacher who helped him become the successful actor he is today. 9. Johnny Depp, Phone Salesman for Pens Could you imagine getting a phone call at around 5 p.m. while having your dinner and all you hear on the other side of the phone is Captain Jack Sparrow trying to sell you a bunch of pens? Well, for all you know, you might very well have received that phone call years ago without even knowing. The Pirates of the Caribbean star actually came to Hollywood to become a musician. His band, The Kids, even became successful enough to open for the Talking Heads and the B-52s. But the band's modest success wasn't enough, so the entire group supported themselves by selling pens for a telemarketing firm. According to Depp, he was so terrible at it that he only made one sale in his entire tenure there, and even then he managed to talk the buyer out of it. 8. Hugh Jackman, Clown at Children's Parties Can you imagine throwing a birthday party for your kid and having the Wolverine show up? Actually, we're sure that's an actual service that a children's entertainer can provide by showing up dressed as the Wolverine, but that's not what we're here to talk about. Anyway, before donning the claws, Hugh Jackman worked as a clown and entertained at children's birthday parties. According to him, this was the toughest gig he had ever had. Quote, I used to be a clown at kids' parties. Hardest job I've ever had in my life, clowning at kids' parties. The hardest 50 bucks I've ever made. So yeah, if you want to break the Wolverine, just have him entertain kids for 30 minutes. 7. Danny DeVito, Hairdresser for the Morgue in all honesty, we wouldn't want Danny DeVito anywhere near our hair. But all jokes aside, before reaching stardom, the man known as Frank Reynolds' job was to style women's hair to make them look beautiful before being buried six feet underground. During an interview about this job, he said, quote, What happens when you get old? You pass, and you want to have a nice hairdo. After leaving high school, DeVito had no desire to take up further education like college, so instead he took up a job at his sister's beauty parlor. DeVito learned to do shampoos and sets and even attended the Wilford Academy Beauty School in New Jersey. Quote, I walk in the door, I've got my kit and I've got my white smock on. I thought it was going to be horrible, but I look in the door and there were like 40 girls, me and two guys I didn't get to know very well. I thank my sister to this day. Considering how the interview panned out, we honestly can't tell if he enjoyed that job or not. We hope he at least ordered his clients an egg in their trying time. 6. Jennifer Aniston, Telesales Let's be honest, telesales is a horrible profession to be in. Like, no offense to anyone who's proud of being in telesales, but you have to look at it from the perspective of someone who is only in that line of work just to make ends meet. Think about it, it's bad enough if you're shy with making phone calls, but it's even worse when you get a person on the other end of the phone who is absolutely relentless when telling you to stop calling their number. And the thing is, that's exactly what 90% of the phone calls are like. It can be truly awful. Well, this is exactly what Jennifer Aniston was up to before landing a gig on Friends. 
Apparently, a lot like Johnny Depp, she was terrible at her job. According to Aniston herself, she was so bad at the job that she spent most of the time apologizing for doing her job. She would go on to say, quote, I was awful selling timeshares in the Poconos and upsetting people terribly, and me just being the worst at it because I just apologized profusely and hung up the phone. So yeah, next time you get a telesales call, go a bit easy on them. Odds are that's probably not their career choice. You never know what future superstar you may be rudely hanging up on. 5. Jim Carrey, Janitor so even with a great sense of humor, it doesn't automatically mean comedians had the best of lives. Jim Carrey had to witness his family go through tough times to make ends meet at the age of 11 after his 51-year-old dad lost his job. Because of this, the whole family, including Jim Carrey, had to take on jobs like janitors and night guards. Carrey had to take up a job after school where he would work eight hours a day in a factory. It was so draining that Carrey stated that he wanted to, quote, bash somebody's head in. It was so bad that the family ended up living in a van for a while. 4. Madonna, Dunkin' Donuts Cashier now, okay, in your minds, you're probably thinking that working at Dunkin' Donuts would be one of the best jobs out there. You know, free donuts and whatnot. Well, according to well-established pop star Madonna, that's not the case at all. Madonna is well known for her business savvy, but the Michigan native moved to New York to make it as a dancer with less than 50 bucks in her pocket and took up what would be one of her first jobs working at Dunkin' Donuts. According to her, however, that didn't last too long as she says she got fired quickly for playing with the jelly squirter. Don't act like you wouldn't do the same. 3. Brad Pitt, again, El Pollo Loco restaurant mascot. Poor Brad Pitt, the guy simply couldn't catch a break. Well, besides, you know, becoming a world-famous celebrity. But before that, he couldn't catch a break. So when he wasn't driving limos full of strippers to bachelor parties, Brad Pitt was performing as a mascot for his local El Pollo fast food restaurant. Hey, an acting gig is an acting gig, so don't knock it. 2. Barack Obama, ice cream scooper at Baskin Robbins. So yeah, the President of the United States used to scoop ice cream at Baskin Robbins, 41 flavors. Who would have thought it? Now, to be fair, this is probably a similar situation to the Dunkin' Donuts part of this list. We imagine you'd get to have some ice cream on the house for all your hard work. And Barack Obama does seem like the kind of person who wouldn't see this as a bad job, but rather as more of a life experience. According to the 44th President of the United States, quote, scooping ice cream is tougher than it looks. Rows and rows of rock-hard ice cream can be brutal on the wrists. I was less interested in what the job meant for my future and more concerned about what it meant for my jump shot. During this interview, however, he did round up his experience in a positive note, as according to him, the job at a Baskin Robbins in Honolulu, quote, wasn't exactly glamorous, but it taught me some valuable lessons. Responsibility, hard work, balancing a job with friends, family, and school. 1. David Bowie, Butcher Delivery Boy After discovering the life-changing music of Little Richard, the 10-year-old soon-to-be music legend David Bowie, who back then was legally called David Jones, quickly decided he wanted to be a saxophone player for his musical idol. Determined, Bowie decided to get a job so he could afford to purchase one. But instead of going for the typical paper route, Bowie took a job as a butcher's delivery boy instead to fund the purchase of his first instrument, thus taking his first tentative step towards his glittering musical career. Hey, everyone's got to start somewhere. And that's our list. Did we leave any out? Well, let us know in the comments below. Please remember to subscribe and tap the bell button to be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like us and subscribe for more Elite Facts.